Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently not really doing much if I'm honest. We'd like to fight Moldavia but we can't declare this. We need to wait on our ally here, this guy, to declare his war. Now I don't know what it actually costs him to declare this. He has 3595. So if it's anything similar to this, honestly it should be much cheaper for him. So he should be capable of declaring it, but he may not be willing to. We'll see what that ends up looking like. Hopefully he does. We have basically nothing on Bohemia at this point. We have a Dijer Duchy or two, but not too much, all things considered. We'll hold off on that for the moment. And I was just looking around in between episodes here, attempting to figure out what our next move was going to be. So obviously we're going to be inheriting the Byzantine Empire very soon, right? Once these two end up dying, this guy will, of course, be the next one. So that'll be fine. He will, of course, inherit Scandinavia and the Byzantine Empire, and that'll be great. But what's our next move after that? I was looking at France. This would be a good one to target. Unfortunately, this is not really a good line of succession for us to target. Italy, on the other hand... This is a decent line of succession for us. And the reason for that is because Eleonora here could theoretically be kidnapped. Now, we can't do that yet. But she's the second in the line of succession. So once Giovanni goes away, that would be great. And this guy's wife is 28. There will probably be additional children. She's not, uh, well, she is actually wheezing. But there's, there's not any pregnancy right now. So that's, I think, going to be the broad strokes of a, not exactly a plan, that's really more of an idea than anything, but that's kind of what we're looking at there. We need a couple more points to grab Kidnapper, and I think we'll wait on that. We're going to have one very, very soon here, and the second one will be shortly after that. So this is all looking good, I think. There's our first intrigue point. We're going to need a second one very quickly here. All right, well, we're going to get that eventually. When is that going to come in? Uh, three years? Okay. Well, we'll just keep an eye on the Italy situation there, and we'll also check in with France periodically. I definitely do want to go after France. For now, there's not a lot of point in going out over here, although if we were to get the Mongol Empire, that would be really funny. There are no preference, so that is theoretically possible. And they're within... They're within diplomatic range. That's interesting, actually. We'll keep an eye on that. There's only sons here for right now. I would prefer them to have a female heir. We'll see how that goes. And he's currently invading Tibet. Sure. So that's going to be on our horizon. Getting Kimmich might be decent, too. In order to actually have a border there. That would be nice, but I'm not 100% certain that that's something that we want to do at the moment. I do think Italy is the better place to go after. So we'll do that. We'll go after Italy here, and then we can start thinking about France or the Mongol Empire. But I think those would be like our next targets. We're interested in allowing the Mongol Empire to continue to expand towards us. Like the bigger the Mongol Empire gets, actually the better it is for us as long as it's not capable of beating us in a war. Currently, it's not. And that's very good. So as long as that remains the case, I'm content to allow the Mongol Empire to continue to spread. Like, if they manage to conquer everything over here, even if they manage to take, like, all of this, that would be incredible for us. And then we inherit the Mongol Empire and get, like, almost a full half of the map that would be hilarious i would love it i don't know how realistic that is but that's definitely something to think about so we're going to have our skullduggery focus soon enough we are working on hoardings that'll be done in 20 years that's quite a long ways out okay we can get rid of those artifacts but that's okay and this heraldry will be done in 11 years that's okay we could switch to high partition that might not be a bad idea for us. We'll have to investigate that. We are on absolute crown authority, which is where we want to be. That's perfect. What's going on with Bohemia here? Defending in a war against tyranny. That's not all that relevant. 
And we don't have much for de jure left. I mean, I think we can go after Croatia. No, these are just claims. We're not allowed to press those. Okay. Libya's claim on the Kingdom of Italy. Interesting. We'll keep an eye on that situation. This guy's winning, and do we expect him to win? He could. He could win. He won't necessarily. I feel like if I was in charge of this war, I could probably win this war, but he's, I think, unlikely to actually win it. But we'll see. If that ends up being the case, we may want to target the Mongol Empire, but I again would like to let them continue to spread out a bit. Sure, we'll learn about this guy's secret. That's fine. But we need to right now be taking a broad look at the state of the world. That's exactly where our focus needs to be. Our options are somewhat limited at the moment. Once we get our skullduggery focus, that will change. I mean, this guy's not going to allow us to just set something up here, is he? No. No, he's not. I thought not. He is, after all, Catholic. But I decided I'd give it a go. You never know. Sure, we accept this guy's gifts. That is absolutely fine. I do want to go after Italy. I want to go after France. I want to go after the Mongol Empire. There's some decent locations like this one that might not be too bad. They're on male-only high partition. So we would need a female heir to make that happen. We can see how that ends up going. Like, that's a doable thing. Just a little awkward. Okay, I want to check in on our inventory here. We don't actually have a weapon. We should probably have one. Personal scheme success chance isn't awful. Actually, the Empress Mother's dagger here is really, really good. We're going to equip that. Perfect. Otherwise, we could equip this regalia, and we'll go ahead and repair that. We may as well. Wonderful. Okay, so we got that ready to go here, and how's Italy doing in their war? They're, they're currently winning. That's a good sign. Troop-wise, things are about the same. We do get that kidnapper perk right now. We're going to start to work on kidnapping this daughter. There we go. We're not 100% certain that this guy will remain in charge. But we're hopeful. We're hoping that he will. Eventually, this guy will need to go away. But for now, I'm interested in keeping him there. I don't want to necessarily kill him right now. Actually, hang on. He has an implicit claim on the Kingdom of Italy. Will he keep that if this guy loses the kingdom? Artifact claim war and liberty war. Awkward, but that may actually help him. We'll see. It all depends on how he decides to fight this. So that's okay. Theofano is, of course, 44, as are we, so it'll be a little bit before the Byzantine Empire is fully integrated into the realm. I am looking at Abkhazia over here and wondering... Yeah, we have no CB. I think we'll have a de jure CB. Yes, we will have a de jure CB on that once we have the Byzantine Empire. In fact, we'll have a few de jure CBs that we'll be able to press. It's the Empire of Carpathia, though, that we really kind of need. Now, of that, the Byzantine Empire has a couple of counties, but not very many. It's mostly Moldavia and Wallachia that is our problem there with Carpathia. So that's definitely something to think about as well. I mean, at this point, we don't have a lot going on, and we won't for a bit. It's, it's going to be pretty peaceful here for a little while. So we're just cruising along at speed four. Checking in on Italy here. He's at 42% war score here now. That's reasonably solid. We wouldn't mind this guy staying in charge. That's for sure. We can't help him in his wars. 
But we can't really hurt him either. How are we doing in France? Ah, there's a new leader here in France. Both of these are sons. However, she is currently pregnant. There may be a daughter here. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on that. France might be an option as well. So we're just keeping an eye on the state of both France and Italy. We're only halfway done with this abduction scheme. Oh, our success chance is super low. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking that was at 95%. It is not. We should definitely be uh, increasing that success chance. Let's go into the Intrigue tab. And we will invite in someone if we can. Only 12%. Yikes. And only 9%. Yikes. If we could get this guy. We could work on swaying him. And we might be able to get those 19 reasons. I don't think opinion really does too much here. We're somebody with an extremely bad opinion of us. Like this guy. He's minus 32. Yeah. I don't think opinion really changes that much. Okay. Well, this guy's not very happy about it. Sure. We do require a new spy master, and we will go ahead and grab this queen. Fantastic. She'll be the spy master. But we definitely do need to set up another inheritance here. That is absolutely something that needs to happen. Our grandson needs to be looking to inherit something. So there was another prince here. He's going to have to go if they remain in power. As far as this French setup goes, three sons here. Nothing too much to work with there at the moment. Okay. I mean, we could attempt to force an alliance or something. I don't think that's too useful. Another thing we could always do... Well, we have so many children. I was going to talk about disinheriting this guy... And trying to have, like, I don't know, this daughter here inherit or this daughter here probably. But that would be a lot of disinherit disinheritance. Speaking of which. Yeah. We'd lose three empire titles here. Hmm. Hmm. The Empire of Russia would actually be created here, but we should hand out the Kingdom of Bjarmaland. So let's go ahead and do so. That would go to this guy up here. And the Kingdom of Bjarmaland will not hold this personally. There we go. Now that shouldn't be a succession issue. Instead, he'll just get the Empire of Russia, which would be created. Okay. Well, what if we were hypothetically to disinherit... It doesn't really matter which. We want an heir and a spare, right? So I think we would go for the older one. So we would disinherit this guy. Okay. So this guy would get the Empire of Germania and the Baltic Empire at this point. That's a bit of a yikes. And this guy would get the Empire of Khazaria. That said, we should be able to just press our claims. So that should be in theory fine. We would want to disinherit this guy as well, hypothetically. So we would do this. And then all we would lose would be the Empire of Russia now and the Baltic Empire. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that as well. Soon she'll be at our mercy. Wait, what? 85 and 85? Wasn't it just 33? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that'll do the that'll do the trick there. Soon she'll be at our mercy. Do it. 50 gold comes back and we got it. Okay. So, the next thing that we want to do is make sure that we're ready to do this. We're going to work on eliminating this young gentleman. I would like to murder this one as well. And what are those odds looking like? Solid. Okay. Cool. So we're going to get those going. We really want him to win this war. 
this war we don't care about. This war we don't care about either. That's a liberty war. So it should be okay. However, he's basically out of troops. He could maybe white piece this. He probably should white piece this war. I think that's something that he should do. Empress Theofano's statue. That's pretty solid. Okay, so she gave us a statue. We should hop into our royal court and see about maybe displaying that. We could actually display a book here, and we could display another book over here. Perhaps the fine book about books, or probably the fine song, songs of the woods, actually. Uh, they're actually the same. Okay, uh, what if we were to display in place of this spear? Can we put the statue here? Where can we put the statue? Maybe instead of the Franconian statue, probably? Yeah. Okay, so this chest here, let's see, 0.2 prestige per month and prestige per, per night. I don't think we really care about that. Piety and renown is pretty solid. We'll put the, the chest there, and then I believe... Oh, we have another furniture slot over here. So Empress Theofano's statue could go here. It's a mercenary higher cost reduction, which isn't amazing, though. But it'll do. Okay, sounds good. Wonderful. Now then, I would really like it if he won this war, or at least white-pieced it. It looks like he may not. So, this may not become a thing. We'll keep an eye on it. As far as France goes, the Queen of France is pregnant again. There may end up being a daughter there. We'll keep an eye on that as well. France is probably going to be more stable than Italy, if I had to guess. And Princess Eleonora does not, in fact, have a claim on Italy. Which does make me sad. Celebration in Milano? Sure. Do it. She is pregnant again. We'll have to keep an eye on that. If it's a male child, the child may have to die. Intrigue perk is available, and we will take swift execution. Wonderful. Okay. I am definitely concerned about Italy uh, sticking around here. Yep, ensure that that's held. Bon bon appetit. Okay, we gained 19 stress. That's fine. We have a mental break. We could punch somebody. And we're fine. Excellent. Oh, uh, I think he white pieced. He's still in charge of Italy. Oh, no, that's the claim for the Kingdom of Italy. But he got a bunch of war score back. Interesting. He white pieced one of his wars. Okay. So now we want to recruit her. So we negotiate release. We can't do this yet, it looks like. But eventually we'll be able to recruit her. It seems to just be a time thing. No, we don't want to execute her. <laughs> so yeah, once we get the ability to recruit her to our court, we will do that. Of course she'll be there. Excellent. Okay, and uh, this is another princess, so that's fine. No problem there. I would love to see him white piece this. That'd be really, really good. We'll see if he gets around to it. Because I don't think he's going to overall win it. Right? Actually, let's look at that war. Yeah, he's not going to overall win this. Not without substantial help. Hmm. Hmm. What if we gave him a bunch of cash? He could hire mercs with them. With that. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. We're going to funnel cash into this guy. Yeah, we've all, we're have all we not going to get more opinion from this. That's understood. We are going to send him money until he has a thousand gold. Just over and over and over again here. One more. Okay. We bail him out. 
and he immediately spends it on mercenaries. That's what I expected. We're going to continue sending him cash. Now, we can't keep this up forever. But we can keep it up for a bit, anyway. Excellent. He spent it on more cash. That's what I wanted to see. So, hopefully that'll be enough to... Uh, yeah, that's the Liberty War there. We don't really care about the Liberty War. This war is the war we want him to win. So that'll be good. Hopefully that's enough cash for him to win that. Although I'd be a little surprised. Uh, this ransom. He wants to ransom back his daughter that we kidnapped. We declined that. <laughs> he must be so confused. He's like, you imprisoned my daughter. My two sons were mysteriously murdered. And now you're pumping gold into my economy in order to ensure that I don't lose my title. I wonder what could be happening here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, indeed. We're going to take 100 gold here, and this ransom is acceptable. We're going to take another 100 gold there, and this is acceptable too. 25 gold. Wonderful. Okay, let's check in on France. They finally have a daughter. So there's a possibility of doing something in France if we fail in Italy. Okay. And in the Mongolian Empire, eh, not a lot going on here. All of his sons are already counts. That's weird. Okay. Well, they're landed, so that's going to make things a little more exciting. We're not going to be able to recruit them to, to our court. Are you landed? No, you're unlanded. We're just not able to uh, bring her into our court yet. It might be age-related. Or there might be both age and time imprisonment requirements. I'm not sure. It seems to just pop up after a while. And I'm not sure when exactly that's allowed. Maybe once they're 12? I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it. Okay, how's this war going? 77, 73. This war, I'd like him to just white piece, if he could. Hey, increases his feudal levies. I like that. Okay, so do we need to bail this guy out again? I feel like we do. So we're just going to send him some additional gold here. Here you go, buddy. This is a very expensive purchasing of Italy. There's no doubt about that, but we'll see how it goes. What else are we going to spend this money on, right? Well, he didn't immediately spend the money. So that's actually a good sign. That means that he thinks he has enough troops. Excellent. He's lost battles. But they actually can't win from occupation. Uh, he is now... Claiming the Prince Bishopric of Ravenna, or it's getting claimed against him. He could probably win that if he can get out of the other wars. Honestly, if I was him, like, I seriously would have white pieced out of this war when he was at 50%. That would have been the way to go. Sadly, he doesn't seem too interested. Now, we're not going to really be able to do too much here. We could, we should probably start working on a backup plan of abducting this princess just in case it doesn't end up happening. So we can bring in, like, this duchess here. Excellent. So the backup plan will be to inherit France. And at this point, I'm not going to spend any additional money on Italy. He's on his own. We gave him all of the tools he needed to succeed, and he will succeed or fail on his own. If he fails, we're probably going to go after France. That will require removal of these three children, but I'm sure it's fine. It's extremely ethical, right? Like, hugely ethical. It is, however, about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to see which one of these we're going to end up getting. Will it be Italy or will it be France? Who's the lucky winner? We'll find out. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all. Well, I was going to say I will see you all next time, but I'm, I'm trying to change the outro here. 
because we need to go into the membership thanks screen. Fantastic. So we are going to thank all the channel members for supporting this video. And as unlike yesterday, there actually are channel members. None of them are on the council, however. So that's definitely a thing. However, Spartan News is a peer of the realm. And then I would normally do a like Gilligan's Island and the rest sort of thing here because peers of the realm is a shout out tier. But uh, there's only one other member right now. So uh, thank you to both of you. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the join button below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.